Students that come into my lab absolutely have to have research experience, and the reason is is mostly because they need to know they like it. You know, they need to know that they enjoy the process of science. When I was an undergraduate, I, uh, I was um, at my school. I got into a lab during my junior year, and I had such an important experience during those those two years that I worked in a lab. That ever since that time, I've wanted to return the favor. I think it's really important for someone in an early stage to really get in there and get experiences with all kinds of things. For me personally, it was a whole nother level of learning. You kind of get exposed to the skills like giving a talk or mm -hmm. writing a paper. I uh, love working with undergrad students on research projects. It's all new to them and they're really excited to learn and they have fresh perspectives. And so they're helping with research projects that are going to be published that are going to actually form part of the scientific body of knowledge. And at the same time, they get a really amazing learning experience. Your know, students learn certain things from a classroom and in certain fundamental sort of building blocks of their future professions. Uh, but it's how science is taught in the classroom, it just doesn't compare to how science actually proceeds by scientists. You can learn so much in the classroom, uh, but there's limitations in what you can learn. And mainly in the classroom, you're just conceptualizing uh, ideas or or theories or techniques or methods, uh, but actually being in the lab and getting to translate what we're learning in the classroom into real practice, uh, hands-on experience, and I think that really set me up um, and really kind of fueled a new passion of science that I, I hadn't had before. It's easy to be pretty passive in a classroom, but when you're in there with your hands dirty, you know, holding bugs and measuring them, that's not a passive process. And so they actually were, are going to be learning faster at a faster rate, and their classes are going to make more sense. So Katie and Jake uh, came to work with me both a over a year ago, and they helped with other projects. They gained a lot of knowledge and skills. And then this summer, I tried to give them as much uh, I guess encouragement and support um, and you know and, and basically encourage them to do their own independent projects and to take some ownership over it. We're, we're challenged to be independent um, and to solve whatever problems that come up in this environment. I was actually out of the state when they realized that the project that they had planned was not going to be possible. I've had to modify re my research question and think about what other things I could ask with the data that we're finding and Jake has had to do something like that as well. well. I got a phone call from them and an email saying, hey, we, you know, this is, this is a huge problem, this is our proposed solution. And that was really actually just what I was hoping to, to hear from them, that they encountered a problem and they thought about it themselves, devised a solution, they decided to study a different species. This is really common in science. Uh, one thing that I guess makes for either success or failure at science is that ability to redirect. Going through the whole process of having to, you know, formulate the whole project, you know, apply for it, and then... Write a proposal. Yeah, readjust as you go along. As we, I think it's, I mean, you definitely don't get this in any other kind of undergraduate setting. So you got to, you know, take ownership of what you're working on, and I think it's really exciting them and a little scary to have uh, a lot of responsibility. It's cool because I didn't think I was going to have such a, a responsibility on a research project, but I, I got that experience, which was uh, something that really kind of changed my perspective on science. The lab meetings are the weekly opportunity to pull everyone together and say, hey, why is this important? Why have I just spent 13 hours measuring bugs? And so reminding students that, that, that hey, this is actually going to be a pretty important contribution to science and exciting and interesting and for these reasons. We do a lot of lab meetings where people present their work, their current work, and we critique them. And I think that's a really great environment because you can ask them questions, they can ask you questions about the work that you're doing, and it's challenging and you also just learn a lot about, you know, how they've conducted their research and what you might do, what lessons they've learned. Um, and just in terms of presentation style, um, I find that really useful. But undergraduates learn a lot more than just science coming into a laboratory. Communication skills, working together with the team, um, standing up in front of a group, presenting writing skills, all of these are, are skills that students learn in, in the lab and they, 
a, it, you know, whatever profession they go on to, that these, these are skills that are going to help them. I think one reason that, that students are drawn to, to my lab is because I, they, they recognize I like working with them. Um, they recognize that, that um, they're going to be able to make important contributions. They're not just going to be washing glassware. I think one of the great things about our lab is that there's been a lot of different people in it. I like uh, the fact that the lab seems to be very collaborative. I think that, you know, Christine is, is building this sort of collaborative environment and I think that that's key. They've taught me so much about what the, the process is in academia after your undergraduate. As an undergraduate student, interacting with people at all different levels in their career is really important. I've gained so much from other people and other people's experiences and um, people have always been willing to sort of help. I really try to foster a lab atmosphere where it's collaborative and people get along and people can talk to each other and really forms a support system. A number of undergraduates that have finished up with me said that this became their home while they were here. This became their 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 thing, right? Everyone kind of needs a thing, something where they feel like they're able to contribute, they're an important member of a team, where they have people they can talk to if they have problems, um, a place that they can hang out. And so this lab is, is kind of all that.